Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Azure App Service Editor. It is not confined to the API app or any other kind of an app. It's, con it's limited to all the apps, uh, App Service in particular. So it's still in preview. Uh, let me just log on to the portal and show you in brief what it is all about. So we are logged on to the portal and this is our API app that we created in the last video. So if you will scroll down, you will see different settings configuration. So if you would see the app service editor, it is still in preview. It says app service editor provides an in-browser editing experience for your application code. So if you would want to see the documentation and go through it, you click on learn more section. And it says App Service Editor. App Service Editor, formerly known as Visual Studio Online Monaco, is a web based editor for app services. To access the editor, go to App Services Preview, like we did in the Developments Tool section. We clicked on that and we were here. So, if you would see the continuous deployment part of it, it says when you have the App Service Continuous Deployment feature enabled, you should be careful when editing your site code in the App Service Editor. Any changes that you make will be reflected in the running site, but any future deployments will overwrite your changes. If you are editing an app with continuous deployment enabled, you will see a warning in App Service Editor. So, continuous deployment and continuous integration, when you implement it, you are implementing DevOps methodology, metho methodology in the your app service, which let you uh, fix the minor changes, bugs, and enhanced the performance and capabilities, and put the enhancement in your uh, app service when you are uh, breaking a monolithic app into microservices. And if you would use the app service editor after enabling the continuous deployment, you will be making changes in the running site. So, as per the proper steps and the proper mechanism, you should not make changes directly in the production so you will surely get a warning from the portal that your continuous deployment is enabled and you can read more about it in the azure documentation i'm telling you this in brief so if you will go back here to the app if you will click on go it will take you to the next another window it will log in with your already logged in account And if you would see, it says was dash prod the URL that was in between take you to the another center. If you would read at the top, it is the name of your API app. And if you would browse it, it says dot azure websites dot net. But when you are in the, uh, the console or the kudu section, you would see after just after the name of your API app dot SCM dot as your websites dot net then dev there under the root so if you would see the www root file the default file that Microsoft has provided us because we have not deployed any code here so you can make changes directly here if you want to uh, let's say change the height to let's say 80 like it says dirty saved so it's saved automatically now if you will browse like this is our app and if you would click on overview and if you would click here there are changes that we have made let's see where we have made the changes style 80 let's say let's let's change the heading language english viewport with is your net document it's written here right hey app service developers okay let me find this okay it says hey app service developer so i'm going to change it i'm going to write my name It's my, see, I'm making the changes. I can make any change, right? It is saved. If you would come here, refresh it. See, hey, Ashish Arora, you are awesome. You should not do it in production. 
right you, there would be a proper change request proper the maintenance window downtime would be configured this is a small change that i've made in the html or styling sheets but if you are deploying a site using any programming language you would making the changes in the code and then deploying it so this was the app service editor which is still in preview mode i wanted to show you about so i hope you liked this session i'll i'll see you guys in the next video till next time have a great day ahead bye bye